New here at 10 o'clock. It's a snake where you'd never want to see it. <laughs> this video captured by a father and son in Wyandotte County. Yikes. Tonight, they recall the very moment they saw it and how they got it off the truck. Yeah, 41 Action News reporter Kat Reed has the story. Yeah, I was driving. was driving. Bob Henderson was at the wheel of his Ford pickup, his son Christopher in the passenger seat, and a special guest on the side view mirror. Here they go. Oh my God, it's so big. The father son duo was driving down Parallel Parkway in KCK on Tuesday. You yeah. see a snake dangling from your mirror, what are you going to do? Take a video, of course. Look, it's looking at me. The Hendersons aren't sure where their five foot long hitchhiker came from. They'd been driving for 10 or 15 minutes when he popped up. It had to be either under the hood. Or, or underneath the car and it kind of crawled up? On top of up. the truck? We don't know. I don't know. Travel would have a yeah, I would have a heart attack. This seems like the stuff of nightmares, but this snake isn't a villain. Uh, Western rat snakes, that's usually the species that we have coming onto people's property the most of anything. Mark Herf is a wildlife technician for AL Animal Control. He says these guys aren't venomous. They're actually helpful taking care of rats and mice. I mean, the best thing you can do to keep it off your property is keep your landscaping nice and trim, uh, but there's always a chance you might find one on your windshield, apparently. What's it doing? The Hendersons eventually shed their visitor with a windshield wiper. I did see it land, I seen it kind of go off, so it did not get hurt. It wasn't as bad as snakes on a plane. Still, Christopher doesn't want to see a sequel. No more snakes on a truck for me. Now in the metro area, there are just two kinds of venomous snakes. One is the timber rattlesnake on this side, which of course has a rattle on the end of its tail. The other is a copperhead, and you can kind of see these brownish orange color and these hourglass shaped markings. You probably wouldn't want to be close enough to tell, but they have cat like pupils and fangs. And I don't know about you guys, but I can't stand snakes and shrieked when I saw the video the first time. <laughs> so I hear, yes, so yes. I hear. And you're right, I don't want to get close enough to find out if they have fangs or not. Cat, thanks.